This tutorial is in the response to a question that a viewer asked. I'm not even going to try to say his username. It's A H U Y H U. Okay, I'll try to say it. Ahoyohu. Okay. And he wants to know how you can make a bash script that uh, uh, asks a question and gives users the uh, ability to answer yes or no. And I'm going to show you how to do what are called case statements. This is great for yes or no questions or even having a full menu worth of options. So let's uh, first create a folder. I'm just going to create a folder to work in. I'm going to call it uh, bash. Don't have to do that. I'm just doing that to keep this tutorial separate from other files there. Okay. So now I'm going to open up my text editor and I'll call this menu.sh. And we're going to start off with bin bash, as we always do. And I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call it x, and I'm going to set it equal to 0. And then I'm going to make a while loop. And I'm going to say while the variable x equals 0, do this. Don't really need that there. And I'm going to put my done here so I don't forget to do that. Now the first thing I'm going to do in this loop is I'm going to clear the screen. I like to do that just to keep things clean. And then I'm going to put a message up on the screen. Echo, do you like candy? Y or N so they know how to answer. And then we're going to use the read command to set a variable called answer. So it's going to, the read is going to wait for a user to type in an answer and save that answer as the variable answer. Next, we're going to start our case statement. We're going to say case dollar sign answer. So we're seeing what the uh, variable answer is. And we're going to say in. Now we're going to say y parenthesis and what that's saying is if the user type yes do the following commands and I'm gonna say echo you said yes and then I'm gonna hit or set the variable X equal to 1 this is just how I'm choosing to exit out of the while loop and then we're gonna do colon or uh, semicolon semicolon and what's that saying is that's the end of the commands for the Y option next another option they have is to say no so if they type n we're gonna say echo you said no and once again I'm gonna hit set X equal to 1 once again that's to get us out of this while loop. And you'll see why I put the while loop in there in a moment. It's not a necessary thing, but uh, it's uh, for what I'm creating here. Semicolon, semicolon, saying that we're, the, we're done with the uh, N option. So the commands for the N option are done there. And then we're going to put an asterisk uh, parenthesis, and that's saying anything else. If they put anything other than Y or N, it's going to do the following and what I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have it clear the screen echo and it's going to say that is not an option and then what I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have it sleep for I'll say three seconds semicolon semicolon to know that we're done with the commands for the anything other than Y or N and then I'm going to type case backwards here which is ESAC we're just saying we're done with the case statement and so let's look at our entire code here we're saying that this is a bash script so our computer knows then we're gonna say X equals 0 so we're saying a variable and we're saying while so as long as X equals 0 do everything inside this loop here so first thing we're going to do is clear the screen, then display a message on the screen, and wait for the user to answer. And we're going to set their answer, their response, to the variable answer. And then we're going to start our case statement for anything, 
for whatever answer equals. So case answer in, if they say y, do these set of commands. If they say n, do these set of commands. And if they do an asterisk, do these set of commands. And both y and n set x equal to 1. So it would jump us out of this loop and basically end the program. If they answered invalid, if that is not an option, it will tell them it's not an option, wait three seconds, and then start the loop over again. Let's save that. Let's make it executable with change mod plus x and the name of our script, and then dot slash the name of our script. So it cleared the screen, so we're inside our while loop, and it says, do you like candy, y or n? If I hit y and hit enter, it says, you said yes, and then it exits out of the script. If I run the script again and I hit N, it says, you said no, and exit out of the script. If I run the code again and I put H, which is not an option, it will say, that is not an option, and then after three seconds, clear the screen, redisplay the question. And if they do it again, you know, it's putting something other than Y or N, it will just keep on looping. You can even put in, if you'd like, so it will loop until they hit Yes or no, yes or no. So I hit Y, it said yes. Let's go back into our script here and actually let's add another option. We'll add an option here and we'll set this option equal to Q. And we'll say X equals one and then I'll say echo exiting well don't want to do those boom 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 that looks good and I'll even have it sleep for a few seconds just to make it seem like the script's doing something and what we'll do here is either up here where it says do you like candy or down here we can say uh, I'll put it up here in this question here we'll say press Q to quit. We'll save that. We'll run our code again. No need to make it executable again because it's still executable. Oh, I messed up somewhere. I know what I forgot. I think I forgot my two. Yeah. I need to let it know that we're done with the Q commands here by going semicolon, semicolon at the end of the Q section there. Save it all. Run it again. Now it says, do you like candy, yes or no? Press Q to exit. I can hit D, and it says that's not an option. Goes back to the question. I can hit K, that's not an option. Or I can hit Y, N, or Q. If I hit Q, it says exiting, and then it exits out. So uh, that is how you use uh, case statements, and you can make menus, with multiple menu uh, options or a question like that, basically the user has multiple uh, answers that they can input. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.